So you want to be a registered dietitian? You are in the right place. My name is Jenny Westerkamp, founder of All Access Dietetics and your host for Dear Future Dietitian, a podcast dedicated to helping you feel more confident in every step of your journey towards that RD credential. Thank you for being here and taking the time to listen to this episode and investing in yourself and your future career. I can already tell you're going to be a rock star dietitian. Now let's get into it. Hello, welcome to this episode, which is dedicated to helping international students that want to become registered dietitians in the U.S., whether you're an international student or you're even an international dietitian um, from another country besides the United States, then I want to go through a couple of key like pieces of advice that I want to give you as you navigate this. We actually get a lot of questions through email, through direct messages that, um, you know, they want to know, like, how do I become a dietitian? in the United States. So first of all, this is for people that want to practice in the United States. So they want to live here, work here, and practice as a registered dietitian. Um, We don't help people become dietitians in other countries. So uh, we're just not familiar with that. Um, The only slight exception is Canada because Canada has similar education and application system. So we've actually had some Canadian um, future dietitians that go through our Get Match coaching, admissions coaching program. And then we also have, uh, and that's for, you know, getting into Canadian programs. And then also they use our past class, RD exam prep, to help them pass the Canadian registered dietitian exam. So that is one exception. But then otherwise, we are just helping people, whether you are from Canada, whether you are from another country, We help people get into United States based programs and pass the United States registered dietitian exam. Now, if you go to our website, there will be this guide that talks about all of the different pathways as well as uh, the program types that there are in the U.S. to become a registered dietitian. And it's under the section on our website called How to Become a Dietitian. And then I'll link it in the show notes here. But the, uh, this guide is really set up to help you navigate all the different education requirements because there are many ways you can mix and match. And it really depends on your education history up to this point on what the best next steps are for you and what options you have going forward. Now, let's focus here because today is on international students. So I, I am talking about people that Maybe you have a bachelor's degree or a master's degree in anything or in nutrition, whatever it is. Uh, The key thing to note is that as an international student, you still need the coursework and the supervised practice in order to be able to sit for the RD exam. And how you get that can vary. There are many different options for, for that. So I'm going to go through, if you're an international student, then you will want to read this guide, first of all, so that you understand the different program types and what they are, because then when you go to read the pathways, you'll understand what those those programs mean. Now, for international students, I have a couple different pathways for you. So if you're an international student, uh, then, and even if you have a master's degree, your best bet is to do a graduate program in nutrition and dietetics. This is a graduate program in nutrition and dietetics specific. It is a specific type of program. It's not just any graduate program in nutrition and dietetics. It is literally called graduate program in nutrition and dietetics. These programs are a type of program that uh, you do not need to do the didactic program in dietetics like you do with dietetic internships and other program types. Um, you have you only need to do the prerequisites for this program, and then you can get into that. And then you do your graduate coursework plus the supervised practice hours all in one. That tends to be the shortest, easiest way for a international student to come in to get those requirements and to become a dietitian. The other pathway is if you did prerequisites that would then allow you to get into a coordinated program at the graduate level. Um, So a coordinated program is similar in that it is coursework, but it's actually the DPD program plus the supervised practice hours. It's a different program type. It has a different accreditation standards, but, you know, it doesn't matter. Either one of these pathways is fine for you to do because uh, they both will lead to eligibility to sit for the RD exam. 
your final pathway, if you are an international student, is to enter into a PhD program. Or if you already have your master's degree and you want to do a PhD, then you can do the PhD. And then you can go into what's called an individualized supervised practice pathway. Um, that's an ISPP. And that is going to be just the supervised practice portion um, that you would need to then be eligible to sit for the RD exam. So those are the main three pathways. And it is unfortunate, like if you do have a bachelor's degree and a master's degree, or you're even a dietitian in another country, you still have to go through these requirements in order to become a dietitian and work in the United States. And then you have to pass the RD exam in the United States. You can actually take the RD exam in another country if you're not living here yet, or you know, if maybe you do online education, then you come here for your supervised practice um, rotations, and then you can take the exam in you know another country because the exam centers have international locations, but um, it will be the U.S. exam. Whenever someone is emailing us and is like, what is my next step? Like, what do I need to do? How do I need, how do I know like what programs I can apply to? I would say you first want to go to our website, look at the how to become a dietitian page that is going to have this guide that explains all of this. Plus it's going to have the program directory, which is where you can go to filter. You can download this, this directory, this database, and you can filter by program type. You can see all the different graduate programs in nutrition and dietetics. Um, you can go to their websites then and you can see what the prerequisites are. And at this point, once you start to find programs that you would be interested in, whether it's in the U.S. or if they're distance based programs where you can do some of the coursework, you know, in your in your country. From there, you want to reach out to directors to find out what their what their policy is for international students and how they want you to get your transcripts evaluated on the academy of nutrition and dietetics website they do say um, you know use this foreign transcript evaluation service and do that right away but my suggestion is to actually identify the programs first because some programs have specific directions for how you would go about the transcript evaluation and it could be a waste of money if you um, do the do the transcript evaluation through the academy's links and then find out later it's not the same as what the program that you're applying to wants. So definitely talk to the programs from there. Then, uh, you know, getting accepted into a graduate school is typically easier than doing just an internship, which is why I didn't put it as a an option because it's easier to get an F-1 visa then if you're not a citizen um, to where you can then do graduate school, get that F-1 visa and, and you'll be covered to be living here, you know, in the United States. All right. So that is kind of the summary of how to address being an international student and trying to navigate this. I, I want to repeat here that you will need to get that coursework and the supervised practice in the United States in order to be eligible to sit for the United States exam. And that is even if you are a registered dietitian or a dietitian in another country, or you already have a bachelor's degree in nutrition or master's degree in nutrition in another country. The only exception to that is there are some programs that have equivalency or are accredited and would count towards the requirements, but there's not that many. And so how you would find out if your school where you went in another country would qualify for that is you would go to the uh, accredited programs directory. So if you just Google accredited programs directory, I will link it in the show notes too, but it is easier to use on your desktop, like on your computer than on mobile. So just know that you should maybe just copy it and email the link to yourself. But um, you go on the accredited programs directory and then there's two filters that you can enter. So you can enter the country, which you would just leave blank. You have to choose like the blank option. So it includes all the countries. And then you would go to program type. And from there, there's two different foreign um, program types. So one is foreign dietitian education program. And then the other is international coordinated program in dietetics. 
And between these two, these are ones that are accredited through the ASCEND, the Accreditation Council for Education and Nutrition and Dietetics. And so that means that they do meet some requirements and may reduce the requirements you need to become a dietitian in the in the United States. Um, again, accredited programs directory, you're choosing the blank option for countries so that it includes all the countries in the search. And then there's two program types, the foreign dietitian education program, and then the international coordinated program in dietetics. Between those two, you can see if maybe what you've already done um, is one of those schools, and then that might change your pathways going forward. But um, overall, I would say the vast majority of, of international students that reach out, it is definitely doing the um, like the most popular pathway is doing prerequisites and then applying for uh, the graduate program in nutrition and dietetics pathway. And that is the quote fastest, not easiest because <laughs> because it's not easy, but it is po- perhaps like the shortest amount of time or amount of courses and, and um, rotations that you would need to do in order to sit for the RD exam in the US. Okay, so I hope that helps. And as a final reminder, so we do help international students navigate all of this. You know, you literally don't have to do anything. You just have to know that you're willing to come to the US to complete your education. You know you want to move here. We can help you through every step of that process with our Get Match Coaching Admissions Coaching Program. So this program, you are matched with a dietitian coach who is going to guide you through exactly like what I just talked about, but on a personalized level. So one-on-one attention, phone calls, emails, access to that coach that you will have to guide you through this process. You will be guided on how to do the foreign transcript evaluation, how to identify the programs that will work for you based on your interests and goals and where you want to move, um, or if you want to do up distance plus on-site with the rotations and the different program types and how you would navigate even asking directors like what would be uh, what would they need from you or is your your previous education does that count towards anything of what they they currently um, are are requiring so we can guide you through that I will put the link in the show notes to get matched coaching and that is for anyone applying to any type of dietetics program. Um, and including the graduate programs in nutrition and dietetics, which is the new type of program. um, And that works really well for international students um, and those with other degrees or degrees um, from other countries. There you have it. This was a mini uh, coaching session for you for international students on how to navigate becoming a dietitian in the United States And I hope this answers a lot of your questions. And then please do reach out to us if we can help you one-on-one to find these programs, apply to these programs, get in and be able to complete the requirements so that you can become a dietitian in the United States. Hope this helped you and see you all next week for the next episode. Thank you for listening to this episode of Dear Future Dietitian. I hope you got a lot out of it. And I also hope that you take action based on what you learned today. Now, if you have any questions at all, please reach out to us through our website, allaccessdietetics.com or DM us on Instagram or TikTok. We are here to help you become a more confident registered dietitian to be and make this journey way less stressful for you. So reach out, don't be a stranger, and we hope to hear from you soon. Have a great day.